What's up, everybody? Joey here of Joey's 4. Back at it again with Super Mario Galaxy Part 12. Back at. I almost said Honey he honey Hive again. Uh, Gold Leaf Galaxy. Uh, this level is so similar to that one. Yeah, so, um, I have something about this playthrough. I'm just going to hop straight into it. That I've kind of noticed just re watching it. And I think about to, I do remember while I was recording and doing this. Like, what I kind of did was, like, initially, I, kinda, I realized I hopped around a lot. Like, we went back to Honey Hive in, like, part, like, 8 or 9. And then, even though we were there, like, part 1 or 2. And then, like, you know, we kind of... I did a lot of hopping around, which I think is pretty persistent through this this playthrough. Like I've said before, I think I've talked... Well, actually, I think I have said that before and all that. But I think around now is when I try to streamline a bit more. Basically, my goal this playthrough was just do 70 stars, get the game done. But... Uh, but you know, do the bare minimum to beat the game as bad as I sound, but this playthrough is 20 parts long, so the bare minimum's a lot. And then, um, but still try to show off every galaxy. So, like, the moment I unlock galaxy, I went to a new one. I try to show off all the comments, or the comments, not comments. But, um, I wasn't actually, I forgot that purple coins on actually, like, you don't unlock this so after you beat Bowser. Well, no, there is a one purple coin mission actually that I do show off, so never mind. I do show off all the comments, but. Oh, this is something I was saying about, and like I said, if this series does do good enough, I will do a live stream series, a mini live stream of probably two, three streams of just me finishing a Mario Galaxy. It'll probably be sometime whenever the series ends. So, I don't know. Let's see, what's today? The series, um, oh, well, I don't, I'm not even going to try to save date, honestly, but I am anyways, even though I'm not going to probably hold up to it. I'm hoping to get the series done somewhere around late February, early March. Upload, like fully upload it out. And this is part 12, so hopefully this is getting out early February. And if it is, it, hopefully I can hold up to that. Who knows? But it depends on my upload schedule. I don't know. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. At the time this recording day, the corn, the newest episode is actually part 7. So, you know, I'm doing pretty good for what I typically do. I'm only doing like one or two parts a like, month. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, talk about that actual level now. These um, this whole like concept of this level is you gotta get these cratic, cratic cracks around, and cratic cracks are from um Super Mario Sunshine, our last 3D um adventure, and they flip you around, they chase you, they flip you. They're notorious Mario enemies. They're kind of well, I guess they class they tend to classify as Mario enemies. Yeah. A lot of people don't like them. This is a nuisance, and just in general, they're like worse than most Mario enemies, in my opinion. But yeah, they um, they showed up a lot. It's kind of like um, you know, there was um the pinatas, like made the pinatas and all that. Everything from Sunshine, I felt like, was very from corn. It very it pop they that type of stuff popped up like a lot. I mean, like a lot, a lot. But then it's just like after like once we got into the Wii U era, it's like it all just kind of vanished. It was real weird. I don't know. But I remember like, we had Crater Cracks and all the Mario games. We had a Mario Kart. And, I don't know. I saw a lot of stuff in Game Gear being very like. They, they bought it back a lot. Also, nice Jango Tower, Nintendo. <laughs> uh, yeah, there we go. Yeah, I don't know why. I had some trouble this level. This level took long, way long to shoot up. I don't know why I sat here for so long trying to figure out. Uh, okay, what do I need to do? Let's see. So levels, it's like the only level based off around Craddock Cracks. Where do I need, what do I need, it's like, what do I need to do to get this high area? Oh, maybe get a Craddock Crack to help. That would make sense. So yeah, I don't, I really don't know what I was thinking doing this, while I was doing this level, honestly. I don't know. We can play Speed Mario again, which is the best part about this, the, um, I keep on calling Honey Hive, Golden Leaf, Golden Leaf. That's honestly my favorite part about Golden Leaf. Just being able to come back again and do all this. Because I love the B, B power is my personal favorite out of the new ones. From Galaxy. From this Galaxy. Um, yeah. Uh, I really don't have too much to talk about with these aquatic packs. I don't, I don't know. This is the enemies. I keep hearing all these, um, whatever the pink Octowalk's name. Whatever the pink Octowalk is called. Um, this is bothering me. I even don't even remember the name. It's like I know. It's like this happened. With the 
click booms. Click booms too. It's like I know what it's called. It's just not clicking with me at the moment. Of course, why? You know, why wouldn't it? You know, when I need them, I'm with the most. I'm gonna look up what they're called real quick. Um, so I know what the blue ones. Blue octopus enemy from Mario Galaxy. We are now back at Sea Slide Galaxy, faster than the speed of Penguin. Now, something I actually realized is a lot um, with um, this level while post editing. After the last part, I know I talked about this a little bit, how there's like a lot of repeating themes. I always do this level, all of them are wasting levels. Like later on in the comment, which I believe is next, it's a Shadow Mario race. And then we have one of the comments is a speedy one of trying to do this stuff here again with um, the penguins. I think I gotta waste them again. It was just like the main one, just one of the comments. Um, is that fun fact about me editing this? For some reason, the this mission, the Shadow Mario one, and the one where you go against the Guppy, that's the that's a shark scene, by the way. Thinking about it now, I forgot to say his name. All three of those races, though, um, for some reason, like this entire galaxy basically was all like I did it a second time in here. So this part was originally like 16 minutes long, and I was like, okay, you know, it's gonna be a bit of long recording, but you know, I always kind of cut in between like the transitions, so you know, it cuts a bit of time. But, um, I was looking at this, I'm like, wait, didn't I, I was like, am I doing the comment this mission? I'm like, no. So I'm doing literally, this is the exact same, like, star count and everything. So, yeah. Also, um, the enemy's name are, is, of course, Octogoombas. They're Octogoombas. So why wouldn't they be Octogoombas? That just makes so much sense. That's the blue ones, though. What are the, I want to the blue pink ones are the same name, aren't they? Yeah, Octogoombas. They're basically just alien Goombas. Variants. Elite Octogoomba. What's an elite Octogoomba? There's an elite Octogoomba, which is the green ones. A Octoboo, which is just the a boo version of them. Octopus, which is the big um, gray ones that took on airships. And Octoguy. Octoguy is the pink ones. Octoguys. And they were in Galaxy 1 and Galaxy 2. Anyways, here's another custom Mario race. Now that we're getting into the later half of this playthrough. We're going to, and I just dropped my phone. <laughs> but um, now that we're getting the later half of the series, we're going to start seeing a lot more of this type of stuff. With a lot more comments. I'm sorry. Ugh. But it's going to be a lot more comment medals and all that. And a lot more of like repeated stuff. I feel like I've been saying that a lot the past two or three levels, but yeah, there was definitely a lot more. Just repeated stuff. We're gonna see, I don't know, probably see two or three more cosmic levels and all that. It's kind of, it's kind of nice to me. It's something that, now I think back to it, I didn't really do for this playthrough, but it's kind of the same concept with um, if any of y'all went back to my Sonic Generations playthrough, we had all the side missions, but with all of those, a lot of times I didn't um. What is it? what are they called? The little side missions that they had, you know, the ones you had to get do to get the act keys and all that. All of those missions, I try to do like you know, there was like the doppelganger races where you had to race against another Sonic and all that. And I try not to do those, but once there's such a big variety. The comments still isn't as much. It's like five or six. And Galaxy Two, they greatly expand them, which I love. I guess also with this is just the pure fact that. I don't know, it's just, it's different, you know, it's, um, I don't know, I guess they do try to, because they add, like, different elements into the galaxies, I don't know, but this thing about the Sonic Generation is pretty much the same, pretty, fairly, sim fairly similar concept, articulation, haha, uh -huh. something I cannot process right now for this part, ugh, but, I don't know, that's kind of the comment was all, they're kind of like the missions from, uh, Galaxy generations, not galaxy generations. So I don't know. Just some random thoughts. I, what are they call? I think this is called missions. They were just missions. That's what they were. They were just missions. That's what they were called. Uh, so I 
think we've had this before. I do not remember, to be frankly honest. But this is one of my personal favorite like side planets that they use a couple of times, actually. This gives a purify what you can do at the end. Now, I actually died like two times trying to beat this somehow. I don't know how. Don't ask me how. Actually, I guess I can just go back to recording. I think I'm just way too long on the platform doing something stupid and all that. But, I don't know. You never really know this type of stuff. Sometimes stuff just happens, but. Um, yeah. You know, one thing I would like to say, talk about the gravity mechanic and all that. I do love how, like, sometimes you can see the main seaside planet, like the circle and all that, upside down. See, stuff like that is what gets messed up where I don't, I hit the platform, but not the note. I think we should be able to see here. You see, like, the planet, like, kind of, like, all, like, crooked and sideways. I think that's so cool. That's one of the cool things about Mario Galaxy, like, which I wish they just kind of used more. I don't know. And, yeah, right here is me messing up a lot and all that. So, yeah. Oh, that's actually in this play level, whatever you want to call it. And I'm going to leave others with this dizzy mess. Anyways, thank you all so very much for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful time watching this video. I'll see you all next time. Bye!